Hey Taurus, this is Ascension Empress with your bonus August reading. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. May peace and blessings be upon you all. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you all so much for your support, y'all's positive energy. Thank you for hitting that like button. All right, y'all up there with Scorpio and a few other signs as Yep, the most interactive, right? Okay, so we're going to get into your reading. Again, please take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. This is for my sun, moon, or rising Taurus. If you have any other placements and, you know, you feel it resonates, use your discernment, okay? I am open for personals until the 21st. After that, until September 3rd, I will only be accepting emergency readings. And you can email me if you would like a personal. My information is in the description box, right? Oh, yeah, this is this is interesting. We gonna have to see what's going on. OK, so I, I feel like some of y'all are in the energy of one. Yeah, there is a lot of separation. A lot of people taking the time to, you know, look at their life, their manifestations um, from a different perspective. OK, um, there may be a delay or a separation that has allowed you to see how much power you really have in creating some I'm hearing something new for yourself okay um also yeah be mindful of a very manipulative energy trying to twist your perspective or you know they they're trying to get you to see something um I'm hearing because they know that you will be flexible or maybe you have been flexible in the past all right so let's see spirit what messages do we have going into the past for my Taurus what messages do we have going into the past for my Taurus? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I feel like that there was definitely a divorce or some type of separation. All right. There. I'm hearing justice and love. Some of y'all decided to choose to give yourself more love. You decided, you know, that you deserve, you know, this love. All right. And nothing less. Right. You'll take more and more but you know as long as it's from yeah as long as it's from the right vibration is what i'm hearing right so let's see spirit what messages do we have underlying the reading some of y'all could have yeah there's there is a promotion or some type of offer that brought justice to the situation allowed you to really tap into this alchemist now you're you're yeah you're seeing this from a whole different perspective there may even have been a new love connection that took place. Let's see what's underlying the reading. We're going to get into it. Yep. We got the Queen of Swords here. All right. Why is the Queen of Swords here, Spirit? Yep. Wow. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Exactly. As soon as I ask why, right? So, <laughs> you know, it's, I'm hearing as soon as you get to asking why, or maybe when you were trying to get the truth out of someone, they tried to mix it and match it, however, they felt like you would want to hear it or see it and meanwhile you're like well i if the, if that's the truth i wouldn't have to be upside down like this i wouldn't have to we wouldn't have to be in separation to, for me to have this clarity uh, okay but y'all underlying the reading here you have the queen of swords so you are very clear okay so again someone was probably trying to insult your intelligence deceive you okay with these false promises sell you a dream whatever i'm getting because of this energy that you bring many of y'all are very attractive okay giving off a lot of creative and sexual energy they see you you know really loving and enjoying yourself right and here you are having strength you're like uh no i'm not about to just bend in my yeah okay my values my discipline and step out of this lion energy for you like or whoever this is right y'all this is this is very interesting let's go ahead and see what's overlaying the readings and i want to know about this magician card spirit what messages do we have overlaying the reading Ooh. Yep, Eight of Cups. All right, somebody doesn't want you to walk away. Yeah, Ace of Wands, y'all. And I'm getting somebody really is like they're lustful. Like they, there's a lot of lust for you. Like you are like, where is the love? And I feel like you, this is what you committed to. Yes. Okay. So you may have set some type of boundary. All right. And there was some type. Yeah. There's conviction around injustice around what you want for yourself going forward. And 
I feel like y'all may even be in this magician energy. Like, this is what I'm pouring into from now on. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands. All right, somebody doesn't want you to walk away to, you know, check out or, you know, be emotionally distant. But <laughs> I'm feeling this is exactly what's going to happen, right? Or that's what's happening already. Yep, yep. Y'all, look at that. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, there is an there is an energy of someone wanting to work on it with you is what I'm hearing, but I don't I don't even know if they're gonna be willing to put in so much work. I feel like this is more so because this is the energy again that you give off. Some of y'all may be you know very you have this very young fiery energy to you, like you just you keep going. You're very confident. You're very attractive. Whatever. If some of y'all have a business, like it's attracting a lot of people, and you just you're on it. All right, you make it look so effortless with the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. I feel like y'all are focused. You have a lot of tunnel vision happening right now when it comes to what it is that you are creating. And you're willing to detach from whatever emotional connections are going to be draining you. You're willing to see something from it. Yes. You're willing to see your future and anything going forward as you know from a different perspective because you know that you have already committed to more. You committed for something that is going to be more fulfilling. This is oh, I like this spirit, right? Let's see what messages do we have? What messages do we have? Cl clarify this magician. Why is the magician here? Yep, seven of pentacles in the in the page of wands, right? Y'all, so it, whatever it is y'all working on don't let up don't let up y'all okay so the page of wands there is something that is inspiring you something that brings out the child in you some seeds that you have already planted somebody may be trying to plant whatever seeds because they think that you're young they think that you're naive they're wanting to build with you is what i'm hearing but you walking away y'all you walking away so i don't y'all have been getting that energy for a while now whoever you know, this could be the same person, but, you know, somebody just really, they underestimate your intelligence, y'all. And here you are with the Queen of Swords. So, what do you want them to know, Spirit, about this Seven of Pentacles? I feel like your harvest, oh, is definitely going to be very rewarding for you to step in this Eight of Cups. So, what do we need to know about the Seven of Pentacles when it comes to this Eight of Cups decision, Spirit? What do we need to know? Oh, that flew out to the side. Anything else? Okay. Yeah. Hermit, y'all. Hermit in the Page of Swords, right? You separating yourself, maybe even blocking someone, taking time away from social media, okay? Taking notes, studying yourself. Many of y'all are choosing to be in separation, choosing this time for yourself to study yourself, to work on you, to develop, you know, what is the spirit? Yes, the temperance. And it wanted to be out in reverse. So I feel like some of y'all may feel out of balance. You're like, I don't want to feel like this anymore, right? And I hear like spirit, there was, your prayer was heard in the past or they saw the justice or some decision that was made or maybe something happened. Yeah. We we gonna see what was this Ace of Cups in the past spirit? What was this Ace of Cups? Some of y'all could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Aquarius. Got y'all? They got this area. Ooh, I said Aries. Yeah. Ooh, so somebody could be too controlling. Is what I'm hearing. Okay, or in their ego, there's a lot of pride. But some Aquarius got this energy with Sagittarius very strongly. Okay, so whatever that means to y'all, let's see, spirit. What messages do we have? Clarify the Ace of Cups and the Justice. Anything else, spirit? Wow. Wow, exactly, y'all. Look at that. So, first two cards, you got the Nine of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, right? So, there's anxiety, maybe some type of regret. Somebody, oh, yeah, about not working on something together. There is no trust. There's Three of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Third party, strongly, okay? Realizing that this is not what, you can't build with this. You can't work. You're not interested in working with anyone or investing any time or getting it in, in the way of something that is just going to, you know, it, it, what purpose does it serve, right? It's only going to end. I'm hearing it's going to end. Oh, wow, y'all. It's going to end exactly how it starts, okay? Because this, this karma, there's justice, okay? So be mindful of your plans, all right? Or somebody else's plans. Because I feel like somebody may have intentionally tried to, you know, really... Yeah, they try to they try to paint it a certain way, y'all. Okay, they try to paint it a certain way. Hmm. What do you want Taurus to be aware of, Spirit? What do you want Taurus? See, yep, yep. 
Look, look. <laughs> be aware. Be aware that this ain't. It's not what it seems. It's gonna become. It's gonna come crumbling down, right? Also, spirit is saying, be aware that whatever this tower is, whatever this you know sudden change that may be you know shocking. I feel like many of y'all know that it's because the Ten of Cups is trying to come into your life. Right, those right, yeah, the uh mm huh, -hmm. because you walked away, you had you had your eight of cups moment. Now here's that ten of cups. Here is that sudden change. I'm hearing the sudden arrival. There's a lot of support here, y'all, and I feel like yeah, y'all are having epiphany. Y'all, some of y'all are definitely having, <laughs> yeah, you're definitely having an epiphany when it comes to your connections family love just those who really love you who support you okay because of the lessons in which you have learned in the past i'm definitely some i'm hearing some people's manipulation i feel like somebody had like history or like back-to-back -back situations when it came to third parties and this may have been a fear but now it's just like you know what i'm gonna change this with the magician in the ace of cups you know that you deserve more and you have no problem going forward, you know, alone. Because you're not feeling alone when you, yeah, when you love yourself like this. I like this, y'all. What else would you like Taurus to be aware of, Spirit? What else would you like Taurus to be aware of? See? See? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> you got the King of Cups and the Four of Wands. So they're saying be aware of your emotional well-being. And those who celebrate you, those who love you, those who uplift you and contribute to, yeah, I'm hearing, those who show you love. Mm. Your ancestors are, they're excited. Like, they're behind the scenes, mixing up concoctions. I'm hearing to go with your dream, right? And because of the seeds that you planted with the Seven of Pentacles. And that may be this tower, like... Boom. Yeah, they're, they're, y'all, somebody answers is up there just having a ball. Like, yes. It's only a matter of time is what I'm hearing. One more. Spirit, what's the overall message? What's the, wow, exactly. Oh, the delivery. The delivery. Your patience. Y'all, this is amazing. This is the birth. This is the fruit. This is the fire. This is the gift. Okay. I told you somebody's very attracted to you, right? Because this is the energy that you're giving off. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all got, ooh, I love this energy. Let's go ahead and pull a Divine Feminine. What's the overall Divine Feminine message for my Taurus spirit? What's the overall Divine Feminine message for my Taurus? All right, two cards. Yes. Wow. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so the goddess of the eternal flame. I am an, an eternal flame. And each day my light grows brighter and brighter. Look, y'all, that light, I mean, right on her third eye. Okay? The goddess of discernment, right? Okay, so third eye energy, your discernment is sharp. Okay, it's y'all about to have an, some, some sudden realization about the, the seeds that you've been, yes. Okay, so Spirit is saying you're having a realization about the cycles and the patterns of the past. And how you've been investing your time. Now you're changing it up. You're in the magician. You're in this alchemy. Yes. Y'all. Oh my gosh. Now it's coming together. Okay. So the goddess of discernment. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. Right? You said yes to walking away. Because that's like, uh, yeah, I'm walking to nine and ten of cups. Uh, duh. Is what I'm hearing. Look, the saint of spoken words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. Y'all, this is amazing. This is amazing. So that is your reading, you all. Peace and blessings and great health be upon you and yours. Thank you all so much for your love and your support. If you would like a personal, you can email me. My information is down below in the description box. Please take care, you all. Bye.